trickster came a-calling to find a totem here to teach the foolish heart of man without installing fear. Many came and many went, but still the trickster paused. Bear and cat and tiger tried, but had too many claws. Dog and wolf, though wise indeed, had teeth were quite fright. An owl with his tawny eyes could only see at night. No, the trickster said at last, teachers I see many, but my way is full of laughter, and in you I see not any. But beneath the tree where eagles sat, coyote told the tale of silly hares cavorting <coughs> in the old country of Wales. Raven stared unto the sun, and crow sang awful songs, and rabbit sat a listening with ears so wondrous long. Aha! The trickster danced a dance of joy and victory sweet. He laughed a laugh and swooped a swoop and landed at their feet. Of all here now, the trickster said, "You are the very beasts." But rabbit said, "I'm sorry, sir, but of all we are the least." The trickster smiled and raised a hand and spoke, I have a plan. The four of you shall help me to teach the heart of man. Raven, with your love of light, the sun you'll steal and soon. For the gift of warmth I give to man to be the greatest boon. And crow, you silly creature who sings without a voice. Teach man of pride and helping, you really have no choice. Coyote, my friend, together we spin many a tale at night. And teach man by our naughtiness what really should be right. At last he turned to Rabbit with a twinkle in his eye. You'll be my favorite creature, and here's the reason why. Your eyes are bright, your feet are swift, your ears here round the bend, and your very simple humbleness will steal the heart of men. Together we shall thwart the pains the gods do throw to earth, and turn aside their fiery darts with merriment and mirth. And when time comes that man forgets the lessons animals render, t'will be the humble rabbit that mankind will remember. And round the trickster the animals thronged, the birds and all the beasts, and humbly bowed to the king they found, who thought himself the least 